All right, guys, welcome back into this game. We're back to this place again. You again had take it easy. I saw what you did to go to the bar the other night. I don't want any trouble. You can relax, I'm off duty. Besides, you know as well as I do, that guy was a scumbag. Making him wet his pants was the only way of getting anything useful out of him. Oh, I can't exactly argue with that a scum, but not he's a big owner. You could have been a bit more gentle. Oh, sorry. That's fine, I'm sure he'll be back eventually. Whether I want him to be or not. Anyway, I heard on the news about what happened to you and your partner that night. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. Thanks, I don't figure you would care much about what happened to a cop, all things considered. Considering what, my job is true. Police come in here all the time and act like gods. They order drinks, threaten me and fill me up, thinking I don't care. My boss tells me to ignore it since happy cops are good for business. Honestly, they're worse than the customers that they're supposed to protect us from. So yeah, all things considered, I don't love the police, but that doesn't make me a robot. Nobody deserves to die alone. If you told your buddies at the station that something terrible like that happened to me, some nobody hostess, do you think they would give a shit? I would care. I wish I could say you're wrong, but years in the force have taught me that being a police officer doesn't make you a better person. A lot of people lose sight of what it is to be a human, just because some government officer gave them a badge. How long have you been doing this job? Not long, only about two years, in four different shops. They all promise the same thing. Better paying customers that will treat you with respect. I'm still waiting on both of those things. Business has been in the pits lately. And I've gotten some offers that may, might pay better, but... But? But the at clubs with more of an adult vibe. They said I wouldn't have to do anything weird, but I don't know. I've heard rumors about what can happen to some of those girls in those places. Country girl like me doesn't exactly have a whole lot of job prospects. And it'll be good money. This one is easy. Don't do it. But... Ever hear the phrase, those who don't from history are doomed to repeat it? No, not really. Well, take it from me, no one's going to, out of their way to help you. But that doesn't mean you can't help yourself. Just think it over before you say yes to that offer, okay? I think I'd be getting advice from a cop. Alright, I'll think about it. You got a name? Yeah, it's Miho. Don't tell anyone though, the boss don't like it when customers know our real names. Between us girls, I've wanted to slam Goto into a wall for months. See you around, detective. We can get the hell out of there now. This place again? Oh, hello, detective. I heard about what happened that night after the other police and the reporters show up. I'm real sorry to hear about your partner. I can't even imagine what it's like to lose someone like that. Thanks, that's all right. Yep, that's me. I'm surprised you remember that detective. No need for detective. I'm not on duty. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's fine. How are things? Did that not hurt your business too? In all honesty, business wasn't really bad or worse because of it. If anything, I got a little uptick when the reporters were here. But eventually they left too, just like everyone else. It was always my dream to cook and start a restaurant, but it's been a constant uphill struggle. What's the point? Maybe you can try something different. Yeah, right. What's the point of trying for people who clearly don't care? With some people, no matter how much you walk, it doesn't matter. That's it. You seem like a nice guy, but this job clearly isn't cutting it or making you happy. The restaurant business is ugly. If you can't handle the stress, maybe you should try something new, different career. Are you saying I should be a salaryman in an office somewhere? Gee, I don't know if I could do a job like that. Well, I didn't say that exactly. No, no, it's okay. No need to apologize. Maybe you're right. I'm not getting any younger. Maybe I should throw in the towel. Hey, it's not all doom and gloom. Maybe there's something else you're good at. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, I'll see you around. There's no way you can get inside. 
I smell running me. I phone ring over and over right now. Did that all really happen? I can walk inside this place again. Oh hey, it's that detective from the other night. I wonder if she remembers remembers me. That detective is right here and I can hear you. I can hear you as she's standing right next to you, Kobayashi. What? How do you know my name? It's on your name tag. Don't think too hard about it, kid. You might hurt yourself. Anyway, I'm just like surprised you need to talk to me again. I don't just passing through. Alright, that's good. I think I already said everything I could to the other guy. Would have to write my brain pretty hard to come up with new material, you know? What other guy? Tidal? Titus? Typhoon? Tyra? Detective Tyra was here. What did you tell him? Alright, Tyra. Yeah, I told him you were here and you were pretty hardcore. You told me I was hardcore. What does that mean exactly? You know, I told him you were a cop that, like, didn't play by the rules. We had a drink if they wanted to, like, you know, take the edge off that and stuff. You told him I shit. What else did you say? I don't much else to tell. I told him I heard a firecracker outside before you came in and about the broken lock and how you said you have seen a strange girl. I mean, nothing bad. Whoa, your eyes got all intense there for a second. That's nothing, just dust in my eyes. Painful, stupid, idiotic dust that is causing me to squint harshly. Oh yeah, detective, you should be careful. It's super dusty in here. Thank you, I'm going to leave now. You enjoy your day. The police tape is all that's level. The department's investigation. They're more focused on writing me off as insane than finding answers in that sewers. You have to get inside. It's now never. No more excuse. I have to look around and find out what really happened that night. You need to walk right in. The air still feels as heavy and stale as it did the night I came in here looking for Kazuki. Doesn't look like much has changed since then. I'm not sure why I expected anything different. Even if it turns out to be nothing, I should have a look around and see what I can find. I have already come this far anyway. The red markings running through are still on the walls. Was she trying to guide me to her or were they for something else? No one seemed to question why the shrine gate was down here or who put it here in the first place. Yukimura said it wasn't relevant to the case. At the bottom, the wall is hidden in darkness. You wanna go down there? You could have at least used a different rope to get down there. Touching it once was enough for one lifetime, thanks. Oh well, I've got no other choice. You have to go down. Again. Maybe it was a mistake to come here. All that's left for me here are horrible memories. But I saw Raina, a girl who couldn't possibly possibly be alive in this tunnel, I'm sure, but Yukimura and the others didn't see what I saw. I have to keep going. There's more to this. More pain. The reports on that night never mentioned this. Could they have missed something so obvious? There's another hatch going further into the sewer. It's possible, Rainer. I escaped through it on that night. Maybe I wasn't so far off the mark after all. If Rainer used this hatch, I'm able to find some proof to take to Yukimura and put his doubts to rest once and for all. I better keep my guard up. A dead end. Can't do shit. Hmm. It seems we were supposed to do that. Whoa. No way. No fucking way. We have to figure out the correct combination.
Is this some sort of trick? It looks the same as where I come in. Does it have something to do with the lights? Investigation negative one. I am trying my best here, but I don't know how. Oh, let's say ma. Yeah. Maybe I need to follow the thing. No, I have to watch it. Well, I have the same time. This one goes out first. What is this doing here? Why would you leave this behind? The door seems stuck. I will have to pry it open. Better head back to the surface and see if I can find a crowbar or something. <gasps> What's that noise? Shit, the hatch is closed. I'm trapped. This isn't good. I have to get out of here. Just, I, it's, I, it's, uh, like the doctor said, it's not real. Cause like I said, it wasn't real. Why am I supposed to go? Kazuki, somehow, somehow I knew I'd find you if I came down. Wait, don't go, please. Don't leave me again. What's that supposed to happen? I don't know. I mean, I could not climb up there, so the only way for me to go is to run to the right. Right? Oh, my head's pounding like it was hit by a damn freight train. My room. How did I get back here? I can't remember. The tunnel and those noise in the nightmare all felt was as real as the streets. As the sheets in this bed. Kazuki, I saw him, didn't I? I felt like he said something to me. What was it? But how did I get home? I was in Shinjuku, and I went into the sewer then. What? Maybe Tanaka was right. I'm push, pushing myself too hard at this rate. I burn out. I'm not careful. What's this? The photo from the tunnel. Impossible. That can't be. It was a nightmare. A delusion. It wasn't real. I must have picked it up in the station, but no, I have never seen this before. Why can't I remember? Could it have been real? If it was, then that means Kazuki really is out there somewhere, just like Reina was. Why this photo? Some sort of stage performance? At any rate, there's no doubt about it. That is Reina, alright. Maybe someone will recognize it. My mind is racing. I need to take a moment and get my thoughts together before I do anything rash. Let's go to the living room. Hey, Lady Flop, you don't want to get up either, huh? I don't blame you. If I could sleep my days away like you, I probably would. The thing is, if we stay in here, I won't have any chance of finding him. I saw him flop last night, sort of anyway. I don't understand it, but he's out there somewhere. I'm the only one who can bring him home. No one else would believe me. Yumi, do you know how old it is? Oh, I'm sorry, Ayumi. I heard you were up and the door was open, so I let myself in. Oh, okay. Do you need something? No. I figure I'll check on you. Things have been so quiet lately without Tanaka. I thought you might be lonely. Say, where were you last night? I listened for you and didn't hear anything. I don't know. 
I mean, I had a late night. You know how those can get, right? Sorry if I worry you. Are you sure you didn't hear me come in? Whoa, that was another big one, wasn't it? They have been more frequent lately, huh? What if something were to happen to you? What if I didn't know where you were? You can see why I'd be worried. Yumi, you don't have to look after me. I can manage. Don't say that when neighbors. It's my job to look after you. Who's going to take care of you if I don't? I'm okay, really. I should probably get ready soon, though. So, right, right. I can take a hint, but I, Yumi, don't walk too late, right? The people said it to get me. Count him to pester me about my health, even when he's gone. I hate these pills, but I keep taking them for your sake. You need to gain back your sanity. Let me take a look at this. Investigation is going down all the way. Stress, competing, unprofessionals, shaking. Man, we are kind of doomed. Anyway, we need to exit the apartment. Why do we go from there? Kasuken chose an apartment in Shinagawa that was far away from the Yama noted a line in order to cut down on living coats. Despite everything that's happened, it's still home. Lady Fluffington's there and again check my laptop or take my pills. The center of all investigations in the city. The Tokyo Metropolitan Police Headquarters. My office is in a nearby building. As I'm not on active duty, I won't have access to the main building. But it may be useful to check in with Saki if I need something. You know what? Let's do it. I didn't even fuck her over, so hopefully she can help me out. <laughs> Talk to Saki. Ayumi, what the hell are you doing? Get out of here before someone notices you. I saw what you did, pulling the alarm, sneaking into the evidence locker. Did you honestly think I wouldn't notice? Lucky for you, I'm the only one that noticed. I'm not going to tell anyone, but seriously, what the hell were you thinking? You've always been nice to me. You have cover for me. I owe you. One, so now we're even. Wait, no. You owe me big time for this. Big time. I'm not going to ask you why you did what you did for once. I don't think I want to know my opinion. Get some help with whatever you're walking through instead of pulling crazy stunts like that. Anyway, I can't let you in the building. Not my call. That came from Yukimura. He said to not let any non-active officers in the building. I don't think he knows, but you need to be more careful, okay? Yep. I can't do anything. I can fuck her over real easily by turning... Shutting down the camera back then. You can see that the commercial heart of Tokyo's metropolis as well as city and valley. It's also the location of that quiet back valley where I chased Kazuki and when my life almost fell apart. You know, let's go back to this place. Shinjuku. For the third time here. <sighs> Oh goody, here I am walking the morning shift because my boss doesn't like me talking to cops all the time. What do I find? A cop here, Brian Early. Who talked to me? Assume you're looking for something? Something like that. I was hoping we could chat off the racket. Well, I know how this goes right now. You're going to stand there until I tell you something. So what do you want? Here, have a look at this. There's a possibility she was around this era when Tanaka was taken. A great detective. Like yourself must know how many girls pass through this part of town on a nightly basis. I'm well aware. Lucky for you, I'm not asking about all the girls, just this one. Well, what did you expect then? How would I remember something like that? It's kind of hard to make out, but the girl has red hair. If that helps. Red hair, huh? Oh yeah, that changed everything, except it doesn't. What's your point? Well, I think I might have seen her a few weeks ago during the incident, so... Ah, oh, Chad, man, as you're still walking. Well, let me help you. Your little pictures. There says 1996 on it, so I'm pretty sure whoever gave that to you is pulling your leg. Not sure what they're paying you for, if someone like me can tell you that. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to let back to work. Hey, hold on. We we're just starting up a conversation here. What exactly do you want me to say? I can't lie to you, can I? Well, I could, but you will only come back again. Ignore the date. It might not be even be a date. It could be a room number or a password or all I know, so think hard. Honestly, I don't think there's... Any other way to say, I don't know, that I haven't said already. This girl wouldn't have been just another girl. 
she would have stood out. So think, my gut tells me she passed through here. All right, I put my thinking cap on. Ready? You're messing with me now, aren't you? Oh me, what? Ever would you think that? Huh? That's what this is. I'm not lying to you. I don't know her. It's all. And trust me, if telling you would get you out of my hair, I would. Anything else I can help you with? Call you a good morning drink, perhaps. Papers are saying you might be crazy. Take care of yourself. Oh, hello there, are you me? You're walking bright and early today. How are you? I've been better, but thanks for asking. Oh yeah, is there anything I can help you with? Maybe. Any chance you have seen this girl? Hey, she's pretty cute, or at least she might be under the creepy marker. She does look familiar, but I'm not sure why. Familiar? You have seen her here? Here? No, I don't think so. It says 1996 in the corner. I wonder what that means. Hey, 1996 was a good year to me. I was a year I made big plans to go to culinary school and become the world's greatest chef. Didn't have a care in the world other than my food. <laughs> look at me now. Don't quite another way I plan. Selling greasy food to people who wouldn't know. Good cooking from a convenience store. Rice bowl. Wish I could go back. Sorry, I got lost in thought. Hey, could I have a look at that photo again? Yeah, of course. You know, I think I might know who it is. She looks just like this flash in the pan idol from way back then. When a hit song or something like that. Hmm. Anyway, her name was Sparkly Diamond. Dang it. I can't remember. Sorry, I, I, mean, I thought I had. Maybe I'm remembering it wrong. Anyhow, that was from when I was younger. She must be married with kids right now. Are you positive it's the same girl? Well, it sure looks like it, that's for sure. It's kind of embarrassing, but I was really into idols and stuff when I was younger. I kept a scrapbook and everything. Jeez, I hope no one ever finds that. Okay, so she looks like an old idol. Anything else? No, nope, not that I can think of. I would ask someone younger than me. She may have been around towards the end of my idol obsessions. Hope that helped a little. Your death thanks, Daiso. No problem, Ayumi. I'll see you around. Are you telling me? Just nothing. Hey, what you doing? I thought you guys only walk at night, like you were not turn nemos or whatever. Oh, well, I'm probably going to regret this, but have you seen this girl? Whoa, that's some creepy stuff that you like map over her face for revenge. Man, that's pretty messed up. Yeah, I didn't. Listen, I'm not sure what exactly I expected. But I shouldn't have bothered you so I get going. Whoa, 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 like slow down detective. What you got? Got there is a G new pop idol performance photo. Wait, you know something? I mean, you know about this picture? Yep. So what is it? Well, based on the like lighting and outfit, it looks like it's pretty ancient. I mean, like it might be over 10 years old now. If 10 years is ancient, I'm not gonna ask how old you think I am. Anyway, what else can you tell me about this photo? Uh, yeah, I would recognize that stage anyway. It's in this cozy little spot in Akihabara. The little lady was probably like based there or whatever. This one time, me and my girlfriend were at a concert there, and I think she had the host, the hearts for me. So, okay, okay, I get the picture. Akihabara. Well, I gotta say, kid, you really know your stuff. Yep, yep. People tell me that a lot. You know, like they think I'm pretty wisdom for. Oh no, been for been fun chatting. But I beg you to get back to what place would fall apart without me. Location unlocked. We better get the fuck out of here. I'm not going down to the sewer. We can't do anything there, so. Why waste our times? Akihabara, there we go. <laughs> Oh, and shit, look at this place. Cheap cologne and a damn muscle shirt aren't going to be enough to convince this guy tough. On any other day, I'd probably enjoy messing with my brother like this, but I doubt he'd know anything about pop idols or Reina. I should move on for now. Inside, there's a few solid women gathered around looking at pictures of high school girls posted up on the wall. I have got no interest in going inside a place that. Like that, unless I have to. 
Though the two guys standing outside, they rhyme a sharp look for rain. I can't hear them speaking full on sound in Japanese. They're pointing over what looks like a map or some drawings. And some drawing. Alright, I don't mean to be rude, but I couldn't help but notice all the maps and notes you guys are passing back and forth. Seems kind of intense. No, no thank. I'm sorry, thought you were going to hand us a flight. We're not in here to escape a very persistent mate. You're not a mate in disguise, are you? Nope, I doubt I could summon the pack required to be a mate for 10 minutes. Let alone a day. I was just curious about what you two were doing. Uncovering all the hidden secrets of Akiba, of course. What about you? Hmm, something kind of similar, actually. But you guys seem a lot more well versed in the area than I am. I am. How far back do these side streets go anyway? Oh boy, you don't even know the half of it. There's a whole maze of electronic stores, stalls, selling computer and radio parts, and about anything else you can imagine. We decided to map out the area, made of urban exploration. I'm sure it's not very original, but it's been a fun side project. Akihabara is a fascinating area, that's for sure. Urban exploration, huh? Sounds interesting. Most of my friends just sleep on their days off. Are you guys English teachers? Who me? No, I'm a writer. Well, an aspiring writer. I've only gotten a few gigs. I'm a web developer in my day job. But it's projects like this that give me fuel for the creative fire. Who knows? Maybe you'll be reading something and find an anecdote about this conversation in it sometime. Someday. I'm an artist, graphic designer on the side. Cody here commissioned me to come out here with him and make sketches as we explore the city for the book he's working on. Huh, I never would have guessed people would be doing things like that. What kind of book are you writing? Urban horror. Neo Noir. In the seemingly clean streets of Tokyo. I doubt you would believe the things that go in this city even if I told you. I wouldn't. It might surprise you how much I'm willing to believe. So have you been mapping out this street? Anything interesting about it? Interesting might not be the word I would use. I've been getting kind of a weird vibe around here. I mean, on the surface, it looks like any other side street in Akiba. It's got everything you would expect it. A smoky arcade, a maid cafe, a cat cafe, a couple of bookstores. Nothing unusual there. Not for Akiba, anyway. So far so good, we were almost ready to move on, but see that elevator over there? Yeah, sure, what about it? Looks normal, right? What? Looks can be deceiving. Yeah, we've got a little path theory about it. Yeah, this, we think. We think it eats people. You think the elevator eats people? We've been sticking it out the last few days. Fast, we can tell it doesn't belong to any store in that building. And get this, it's only less certain people in. And when they get in, we never see them come back out. Yeah, go ahead and try it, we have. So logically, it's either eating people or Yakuza vampires. I've thought a lot about it. I'm pretty sure it might be a thing. I mean, there's a ton of shady activity around here. Damn, Sire. That might be the book, The Yakuza Vampires of Akiba. Write this down. What? Oh, I'm doing better than writing that. I'm already making some sketches. I think this is the best idea you have. Oh, wait, Cody. Didn't you say you knew some Hollywood agent in LA? Yeah, and once we write this, there's no way they can ignore vampires of all the rage. Oh, they were. We can bring them back. You guys certainly have a have an imagination. Take it from me. This city has a lot of strange things that happen in real life too, trust me. You start asking around and you'll be surprised what people tell you. Investigation plus five. The elevator is out of service. Every time the automatic doors open, the noise from the pachinko parlor and the smell of stale cigarette smoke assaults your sense. What is this place anyway? Ask about the photo. Who is this girl? Hi, sorry to bother you. I'm Ayumi. What's your name? I'm Moega. Whatever you want, make it quick. I'm kind of waiting for someone, so. Alright, I cut to the chase. Can you tell me anything about this photo? What decade is that dress from? Wait, glow sticks? Oh, uh oh. This isn't some idle thing, is it? If from some modeling agency, whatever, I'll tell you right now, there's no way why that kind of gothic Lolita stuff. You know, nothing like that. I'm an investigator of sorts. I'm less interested in the fashion and more about the girl herself. How should I know? Idol stuff is so boring. Hey, are you like the investigators on TV? Did I got she with some guy's wife or something? That's so exciting. You know what you should do? You should talk or ask the collector about that photo. What kind of collector? No, the collector is like a name he gives himself. 
that knows everything there is to know around him. My friend Akane told me about it. The dad goes in Akihabara, I bet he knows about it. Why, is this guy an expert on idols or something? No, weren't you listening? Like I said, he knows everything. Which shops are employing foreigners illegally who's behind on the rent? Hell, he even knows which cops and machines have the rare stuff. At least that's what I heard. No offense, but why would some high school girl need information like that? Well, that is a little complicated. Akane walks around here part-time. And there was a customer who used to come in and kind of obsess over her, you know, a real creep before long. He was following her home. She complained, but her boss wouldn't believe her, so Akane asked the caller to give, give her something to make the widow go away. And did he? Sure did. He gave her a photo of the guy that she mailed to the creep's wife. Let's just say it was incriminating. What did he get out of it? This collector. Why don't you ask Akane yourself? She's, she's out with someone right now, but she'll be back any minute. Thanks, Moika. I might just do that. <clears throat> we have the Maid Cafe here. One of the many foreign tourists who frequent the electric town sign of Akihabara. A Hawaiian shirt with a fanny pack, huh? That I was mixing now Japanese to be helpful to me. A cat theme made cafe, as opposed to a regular cat cafe. Maybe there's a police theme made cafe somewhere. Katsuki would have gotten a kick out of that. Anyway, let's enter this place. <laughs> Welcome, gentle mistress. I am Aiko Nyan. What's your name? Uh, yes, I'm Ayami. Your table will be ready in just a few moments. We we'll apologize for the way they hope she can forgive us. Does the mistress have a membership card? No, I don't do, but hey, hold on, take your hands off me. It's important that I personally got you to your table. Very well, don't you feel better? Actually, I was hoping we could talk about. Oh yes, mistress, I am in Young. That option is included on the menu under full access communication. It's only 1,000 yen extra and then you can ask all the questions you want. Then if you want pictures, you'll have to order them. Purdy, check your photo option. Only 1,000 yen per photo, yay. I think you may have gotten the wrong impression now. Clearly starving. Mistress, why am I menace? That wasn't very polite to me. What can this humble servant fetch for you? No, hold on. You're not listening. I only want to ask you about photo. Oh, mistress. You're so hungry. You don't even remember explaining that. Put a checky photo option. You have grown delirious. We'll get you food soon. We have nyan, pan, nyan cakes, blah, blah, blah. And all available to come in a drink set. I'm a detective. I think my, you have my have the wrong idea about me. <coughs> <coughs> I'm a detective with the Tokyo Metropolitan Police Department, and I'm going to insist to answer my questions. Oh my! That does seem serious, and I would love to help you. Just one little tiny detail first. May I see your badge? Excuse me. I certainly wouldn't want to offend you, but there are a lot of cosplays in this part of town. The costumes can be really good. Oh, I don't have it on me right now. No badger, how convenient. I certainly haven't met any female detectives before. Something smells fishy, and I don't mean in a good way. Yes, but, well, detective, let's stick to the rules, okay? Let's focus we'll on the photo. Listen, I won't take much of your time. It's one quick question, so. Pardon me, Mistress, no conversation if there's starvation. No set of rules. Okay, okay, I'll have the, let's see, the Nian Pancakes and the Pretty Kita. Oh, it's some choice. Those are very popular items, aren't uh, many. Right, so I order. That means I can finally ask you about this. Before your order arrives, you must first do the ultra secret Nian Pan Fan Cheer. What? What do I have to do? Come on, Shirley, I don't need to do something silly like that. But I must insist one can't taste the love cooking to that unless it's released by the Neon Pan Fan too. Fine, you win. What do you want me to do? Alright, I can feel the love pouring from your kind heart. Let's begin. Let's place your paws into the air like this. Like this? Perfect. Are you sure you haven't done this before? No, you must repeat the sacred verse. 
What the hell? Neon Malo, Neon Palo, Neon Wala Pao. What? Don't forget to raise your paws. Unbelievable, the passion. The vigor, I can feel the love going into the room, blah blah blah. You know, I can't lie. I don't feel like a bit of my negative just went out of me. Now that I've said the chef, I can't wait. Oh my goodness, mistress. The pancakes have arrived. That was so quick. Hold on, you didn't tell me the Nyan Pan were shaped like little cats. Oh yes. The pants definitely made with love by our staff. There's a little whipped cream tail. It's so cute. Now, Ayami's Nyan was saying something about a picture as I recall. Hold up, no need to rush things. We can't talk on an empty stomach, right? And now you decide to eat things. <laughs> oh my god. Does your mate staff actually make these? Because they were amazing. Of course, I mean, yeah. And now that you have any, I'd be happy to answer my any questions you have. Alright. Have you seen the girl in this photo? Let me see. Him. Whoa, are you alright? I'm concentrating to my false Ayami Nya. Oh, but this young mistress is not familiar to me. Let's see, well, thanks anyway. That grass is so pretty. It looks like it was custom made. I've seen some of that quality before, Nya. I mean, you should ask the collector. She's a fashion designer in Akihabara who designed customs for the mates and idols who don't have big budget collecting her. How can I find it? Supposedly, she has a shop on this very street. Supposedly. She's a very mysterious lady. Makoko Mia Nyan has met her. Her ship starts soon. You should ask her about it. Oh, what? Well, thanks. Oh, and um, next time I can get a picture of the pancakes. I ate them so good like that I forgot. Of course. Yeah, better get the hell out of there. A small bookshop that smells, that sells mostly men can cheap, brightly colored magazines. Ask about Akihabara. Hi, do you mind if I buy the UN food questions? It seems like you know the area a little better than I do. You're not trying to sell me something, are you? Nope, I don't want anything from you except a little bit of your time, if you can spare it. Good, I'm Asashi. Nice to meet you. How can I help you? Nice to meet you too. I'm Ayami Ido. I'm looking for someone, but I feel a little out of my depth around you. Everything in Akihabara feels a little strange to me. Ah, that's one way to put it. My bookshops, it's a nice story. In between a cat makeup and a cat cafe, so... Yes, it's all a little strange. Honestly, it's a stressful set of neighbors to have. Not a fan of your neighbors. Oh, I wouldn't say that. I mean, who doesn't love mates? Um, the cat cafe is a different story altogether. Don't get me wrong, the owners are nicely and all, but those cats are miss a whole lot of noise at night. If she's not careful, they might drive the locals a little crazy. Guess it's some consolation that the little burgers are so damn cute. Hmm. Things have really changed around here. When my father owned this store, this air was nothing like it is now. It had more authenticity. Nowadays, everywhere I go, it feels like it's one big advertisement. Guess I'm not one to talk. I'm not any better. This bookstore used to be a real hidden gem. We sold original prints and rare volumes. My family were known as quite the collectors. Collectors? Well, not me. The collection mostly belonged to my grandfather. He had a real eye for art and took pride in finding original works. I admire the hell out of him, but his devotion to the arts couldn't keep up with the times. Nowadays, I just sell weekly mag manga magazines, and I've done pretty well for myself. I can't complain. I never had the talent or the eye that my father and grandfather had. But I guess you don't really know how much something means to you until it's gone, you know? I do, thank you for your time, Asish. No worries. My normal customers aren't quite as chatty, so having a talk like this was a nice change of pace. Any random thing here? I suppose I lucked out getting an apartment that allows animals. If I didn't, you will probably find me in a cat cafe every other day. Hello miss, my name is Edo. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Huh? I'm the owner of Sachiko Akiyama. So you're not a health inspector or anything, right? We already had an inspection last week. Luckily for both of us, I'm not. I'm investigating something and I was wondering if you had seen the girl in this photo. 
Well, honestly, she just kind of looks like all the other girls around here. You know, the mates and stuff. I don't know much about it. That makes two of us. I feel a little out of my dab around. I'm sorry about him. He can be a little too friendly sometimes. Oh, hello there, little one. What's your name? That's Tomo. You might not want to touch him right now. He's a little sick. He's been making some mess, if you know what I mean. Out of both ends. Guess you can see why I was a bit concerned earlier. I took him to the vet this morning. But they can't figure it out either and told me to wait it out. But I think it's getting worse. Sorry to hear that. Does this sort of thing happen often? No, 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 of course not. My cats all get the best care. They are fed to the best. They are fed the best food. Are on the best kitty cardio routines, and are pampered day and night. I even write the paper to them to make sure they're up to date on current events. But poor Tomo. Maybe I should go and ask the cat collector. Cat collector? Yeah, she's a breeder who lives around here. Who specializes in knowing everything for line. But Tomo, not on the rock. And he threw up again. I'm sorry. Can you excuse me for a second? No problem. I'll come back another time. Hope he feels better soon. Oh, look at this place. Oops. Pretty nice. No one seemed to know anything about Raina, but every time I brought her up, I had the same name over and over. The collector. It was the only clue I had, and I knew that if I was going to get any further in the case, that was the thread I needed to follow. Supposing the maid cafe, you're not only paying for the food, but for the girls who wait on you. And the food, like a lot, not really my thing. Oh. Ask the girls about the collector. Hello again, this must be the friend I heard about. I cut it, right? Yeah, but if you open your eyes for literally two seconds, we'll see. We're a little busy right now. Go away. Ask what's wrong. What is wrong? I don't know you. Why do you care? If you tell me what happened, maybe I can help. She's fine. One of her customers is an asshole, that's all. Customer? Don't look at her like that. It's not what you think. I walk at one of the JK carpets around here. They want high school girls in uniform to serve food and play games and stuff. Nothing weird. Usually the customers want to hold my hand and pretend to be my teacher. Sometimes they buy me things. It's harmless. It doesn't bother you that these customers who want to hold your hand are mostly middle-aged men. Hey, you don't know her. You don't act or hide mine just because you're older. It's better than walking in some shitty restaurant or at a convenience store. Fine, you're right. I can't judge you, but obviously something isn't working out and she's crying with that. I already told you, one of her clients is an asshole. I cut it right. Why don't you tell me what happened? I don't get him. It was nice of me, but then... I said I wouldn't go into this dirty sewer with him and he snapped. He threatened me and told me I was an awful little girl. Wait, back up, did you say he tried to get you into a sewer? He's just a fat, disgusting old pervert. I never want to see him again. He was so nice with before. And we hold my hand and say how pretty I was. Why would he say all those things? Fat old pervert who goes into the sewer. Yup, there's no doubt about it. This is a client of yours, I know him. You know him, make him stay away from a cunning. In fact, we can stay the hell way out of Occupied Bar. But you said you wanted to know about the collective, right? How about this? You make it so mean I kind of never have to see his fat, fat, I pervert face again. And we'll tell you everything you want to know. Well, do we have a deal? Tell me about the collector. There's some free advice. If you want to be bothered by perverts, don't go on dates with them. I don't have time to run errands for you. That's not how this is going to work. If you really know this guy, get rid of him. Otherwise, we're not telling you anything. Ah, mm -mm. oh, tiny rubber shops. Where's the guy?
Maybe that guy went back to Shinjuku. Let me check my stats right now. Sanity will kind of stay for now, but the professionalism is way out of line. God. The neurosis as well. Jesus. No, you can't go back there. Anyway, the only place you can go is to move back to Sinchu. Maybe it's in here. Oh crap, you know you're bad for business. Don't worry, I'm not planning on staying. Where's Goro? Goro, you s sweat on him all of a sudden now. You're sweet on him. I'm not messing around, you see him? Yeah, I saw him outside the bar 15 minutes ago. Why was he heading? What do you think? To watch his favorite love spot some little thing in tow. Believe it or not, I don't think to follow him beyond that. Better be quick, with all your cops hovering around. I doubt he will stay there for long. So the guy is going down to the sewer again. Whoa, what the? Oh, if it isn't my favorite detective, suppose I should thank him. Ever since that night, this place has got most of a dangerous appeal. Ha ha ha. Detective, you call the cops? I'm getting out of here, you creep. Bitch, what's a prude anyway? Well, barely let me touch her. You're not a prude though, are you? Now that we're alone, why don't we start from where we left her? Don't look at me like that, she's 16. I would have to know what she wants. As adults, we can do whatever we want, right? Let's do another stand up. It felt so familiar. You are breaking the law. Guess I should be grateful that you haven't broken out the rope yet. First, I want to warn you about the trespassing. Can I find you here again after some other girl in Akira Bar says you've been harassing her? You've been following me, huh? Didn't realize you liked me that much. It's okay, detective. I know. Why you really came and found me. No one will disturb us down here. You're disgusting. How many students have you harassed and lured down here? Like I said, I like them young. I'm not sure why you are laughing. Harassment and stalking of a minor is a crime. And one that I'm sure your company wouldn't appreciate being public knowledge. If I catch you in this room again, I'll catch you in a whip. I've just think around Haki Haber, I'll bring you in myself. Make sure everyone knows it. Got it? Set it down. Let's just talk this through. Money. Your cops aren't paid much right fine, but your superior advisor will hear about this. Even though he was an idiot, God probably knew that I didn't have a strong case against him, nothing that would land him in jail anyway. What I could have hoped for is that his need to maintain appearance compared him to stay away from Akihabara long enough for me to get the information I need. You don't look so good. I'm fine. God won't give you any more trouble. Seriously, how do you convince him to stop? That doesn't matter. Forget him. Jeez. Remind me not to get on your back, sir. I guess we owe you. Huh? Not if you hold up your end of the deal. Tell me everything you know about this collector. He knows everything, so I've got this theory, right? I think some sort of hacker shutting himself in his room day in and day out. Having all that kind of dirt must be scraped, though. Not to mention, he must be loaded. The collector is an interesting one. If you didn't pay him, then how did you get the picture? Oh my god, you tell her. I told you that was private. Well, since you know anyway. When that client started following me home, I was desperate so I asked the client for something that would make him stop bothering me. In exchange, he asked for only one thing. What did he ask for? I used to carry a photo of my dad on him all the time. He died when I was 7 years old. And I never told anyone I had it. Somehow he knew. 
in exchange for that photo, he gave me the incriminating photo for free. What choice did I have? I was scared of it. But what? Ever since then, I feel like I forget my dad's face a little bit and will a little bit more every day. It gets more and more fuzzy. Why don't you go back and get it? The shop is right under this arcade. You can't get it through an elevator, but I never found it again after that day. The elevator doesn't work. No, I tried, you know, just to see. It controls it and it leaves a sign that is turned on. What? You never told me that. I don't want you going after him, Morgan. Okay? Is he dangerous? Listen, I appreciate everything you did for me. Really? But don't go after him. Something isn't right with him. I appreciate the concern, but there's no need to worry about me. I'm sure I've come up against a lot worse than him. Look for three paper cranes hanging in front of the elevator. If you see them, you'll be able to go down. That's all I can tell you. I say save you two. What's that a paper crane? What's that paper crane here before? Can you grab it? What am I supposed to click on? Cats here. What does that mean? Ask about the collector. About the collector you mentioned earlier. The cat breeder? Yeah, sure, but that's not a good time. Tomo keeps throwing up and pooping a lot and worry he might be real sick. I don't know what to do. When did all this start? Yesterday his tummy seemed a little upset but I didn't think much about it. But this afternoon he really started to explode if you catch my drip sorry. I don't get it though. Nothing is that has changed. That does sound odd. What does he eat normally? Uh, you know the usual stuff, sh sashimi mostly. Sashimi? You're joking right? No, of course not. Why would I joke about that? You can't feed a cat sashimi. Of course you can in the wild. Cats catch the fish right out of the streams. It's the same thing. That's not exactly the same. I have a cat and and I bet you feed it those stock wild fruits with all the extra vitamins and minerals added in, right? Well, yeah. Ah, oh, sucker, you've bought into the corporate lies about pet health. Cats can't be healthy. Eating that chemical spill. Chemical swill. What? My cat's also not puking everywhere, so... So I guess you're right. Uh, I gotta let it carry away then. I don't mean to be rude, especially since you are the old one trying to help. That's alright. Your cats do seem pretty healthy. What's the anything different about today's lunch order? Now that you mentioned it, I actually only order one box from Sochi, the sushi vendor next door, but for the last few days I have received two boxes. I didn't really think of anything but until you mention it, oh, what do I do? Say, so you don't seem to be too busy. What? Why don't I seem busy? I am busy. I am very busy. Do I have a face? That's it. Please give me errands. Well, no, but you have a fellow cat love and you seem so nice. It only take a second to go to talk to Sochi. Honest, I would, but I can't leave the store. I can't even think straight about the cat collector or anything. Now, Cynthia, this is off my mind. Please go talk to him. Oh, fuck. We'll talk to him. Alright, have a chat with this surgeon and see what he knows. Thanks. You're a lifesaver. Professionalism plus five. What's up with those cats popping up out of nowhere? Yeah. I was searching, right? I was wondering if you can set up recurring lunch orders and be twice a week or something. Yep, that's no problem. We do that kind of thing for a lot of business around it. Why don't you ask? I was just at the cat cabin next door and saw one of your bars. And what? Well, it's moving me here in a few weeks, so I thought I would see my options here. You came from Sachiko's place, huh? Yeah, she had a standing order with me for years. I'm surprised I went so small can eat two whole boxes. 
two boxes, no, her order is only for one. If she was ordering two, I would suspect she was fitting into the character. Huh? Yeah, that would be crazy. Haha, <laughs> anyway, do you know how Melee delivered them yourself? Sachi goes right next door on a very sweet lady, so I always try to do it personal. That's it, when it gets a bit hectic, I ask some of the other workers around here to run it up for me. Instead, it is Sachi go make sure to give up my regards. I'll try to go up there next time. So, about that standing order, you wanted to set up? Oh, I need to think about it a little bit more. I'll get back to you later. Thanks for the help. A little sketchy, maybe, but definitely not a cat poisoner. Finding who supplied the second power should lead me to a suspect. You mean this guy right here? What did you have for lunch? That's a wedding to ask. I got a boss lunch from the convenience store. Why? You want cat cafes? You would catch me dead in a place like that. I hate cats. Every time I see one, they always try to scratch me. Well, I don't think we should accuse the guy of poisoning the cats. We don't have anything. Maybe we can talk to the, her about that guy outside, but no, we can't do shit. What do you have for lunch? Lunch, I'm not interested, thank you. You like cat cafes? Cats? No, I don't like cats. I have an allergy, understand? So soon. Hi, it's my inner near back yet. I was hoping to ask her about that dress maker you mentioned earlier. Well, she's here, but thinks that I don't think she will be able to talk. Something awful has happened. It's really bad. How bad are we talking? Monumentally, horrifically terrible. The perfect storm was so crushing, exists that should dread. Another goddamn cat pop up out of nowhere. Can I help? Oh, Ayami Nian is so kind hearted. Maybe she will talk to you. Wait here one moment, please. Um, Nia. You alright? I heard something bad happen. Maybe I can help you. I don't think I can even talk about it. Every time I think about it, I just want to go into the back and cry. Try and relax. I'm a police officer. I'm sure I can figure out what to make this better. Police what? It's Samuel. We'll see. A distant relation of yours. A boyfriend didn't hurt you. Run out with your money. Samuel cut his work, my best friend. He's missing. Okay, I think I should see what's happening here. I'll show red, one of kind, Kitty Plush, Mistress Ayami Nian. These things don't grow on trees, you know. <sighs> a teddy bear. You lost a teddy bear. A plush Samuel cut his work. It was not a teddy bear. He was an ultra red cat plush. Oh, cruel. Oh, the hideousness of the Cosmo Light Bear before my very eyes. Why did I think you understand? No one understands. I'm all alone. We're all alone. And we die. Oh, hey, seeing her like this. I don't think she'll be much of use to society until she finds a replacement for her beloved cutter sword. Thank you for listening. Why are you here? Want some pancakes? I find you a plush. Listen, I can't promise you. That's a ram plus a similar cut of snipe, but I find you something wrong. Cut of work. The second twice removed, actually. Why are you looking at me like that? Okay, I can't do anything. Just better get the hell out of there. What's up this, this thing? Can I do anything? What did you have for lunch? Oh, you're asking me on date, lady? When I'm on the clock, I usually get a box of sushi from Sochi down the street. You like cat cafes? Yeah, sure, they're alright. I used to have a cat growing up. How can I accuse this guy of poisoning cats? How do you wait? Wait, it's not what you think. I rent the apartment above a shop, and the four boys are always 
Yowling all night. The night shop owner gives them sashimi at lunch, so I'll just add some last step to it is all. I wanna seriously help them or not. I let her clean up this fair paycheck while cats keeping me up day after day. That was ruined my damn life and doesn't care. And I'm not the only one who thinks that either. She should be glad it was me who taught her a lesson, not someone else. Alright, fine, I get it, you were at the end of your rope. Thing is, I'm kind of a cat person and I'm kind of a cop. Consider this a warning. Fine, whatever you say, lady. Okay, now we're gonna go back. Maybe I can try to talk to them again. Oh, now I can play this stupid game. Seriously, this must be the cat, right? And we freaking did it. Get the plush toy. She's beautiful. Why did you find her? I name you Carlos Belinda. Fluffle stop, thank you. Hey, Belinda, he isn't Samuel, but I suppose one must learn to move on from those things. But that was quick. Anyway, since you're failing bad, can you tell me what you know about this collective now? Of course, mistress. I actually studied fashion design in France and then came to Japan. She knows everything there is to know about Akiba fashion. She designed the main custom I have on right now. She didn't ask for money. Strange. How did you find it? Well, you probably won't believe me, but I spent a lot of time outside promoting the cafe. Sometimes I notice the signs would flicker. The image on them would change. I can see from the mistress' expressions that she does not believe me. It's true, I spent my nine lives. She shows you what you want on the sign, like an invitation to Troy. Then when there's three paper cranes outside her shop, you go down her she shows you what she has. Her taste is impeccable. She's never wrong. Listen, I get that means I'm supposed to play along with fantasies and all that, but this is kind of hard to swallow, but it's true. Ayaminian, supposedly she got some local computer hacker type to give her access to some of the signs in the area remotely. I think the other shop owners here don't mind because it all happens occasionally and the stores probably bring in more business than the signs themselves. Am I missing something here? How does she know that you what you want? You're supposed to be the detective, not me. I bet she's got webcams everywhere, so... She can see what the girls are wearing and try to bait them in. It's a small group of people who knows that rumor to begin with anyway. It's like subliminal advertising. Mina and Nian, what's wrong? No, it's not like that. It's not like what? It's dressed the one she made me. It was exactly what I wanted. The bells, the stitching, everything down to the last detail. Everyone was always assumed I had a commission, but I never told anyone the truth because I was scared. Somehow she knew exactly what I wanted. And all she asked for in return was the old handmade dress my mother and I made together. An amazing deal, right? But something wasn't right about her or her shops. I mean, who has a shop that spoiler was deep in the basement in a room with no other customers? I felt like some sort of criminal, even though I, all I was doing was getting a dress. And you know, that dress, the one I gave up, it was cheap. The stitching was super, and there were patches all over it from all the times I had to repair it. Despite all that, I wish I had never given it away. Sometimes I think I should try and get it back, but the truth is I'm afraid to. I don't want to go back there. Sorry, Ayami Nia. I kind of got a little serious there. That's everything I know though. Thanks again for getting me Lady Belinda. No problem. Don't go losing her now. And now we have to go to the cat cafe to solve this problem. This may not surprise you, but your upstairs neighbor isn't your biggest fan. 
Talk to me, that little rat. What did he do? Is someone going to die? If he does, I bring his little neck. You know, it's always some last steps in the food. I think he wanted to ruin your day. Not harm the cat, seriously. Oh, thank goodness, I'm so relieved. If it's last step, we should be fine a day or two once it clears out the system. What a little scumbag. What is the problem? He mentioned the cats have been keeping him up at night. If it was of that, and anyone might cry. You're right, I'm so used to it. I don't know this, but I get the contractor to come and see it. About finally soundproofing this place. Tom, you nearly made my heart stop. I'm glad you'll be okay. Now that one mystery is behind us. Good way to return to our discussions about the collective. Of course, I've only visited her once. I wanted to add a very rare Bellinis breed. The cafe, and after searching for weeks, I was convinced it was nowhere to be found in Tokyo. Just when I had given up hope, I got an email out of the blue from her saying she had the break I was looking for and to come to her shop. Suffice to say, I was ecstatic. Business was doing alright, so I had some money to spare to only. Only she didn't want money. She won panda. <gasps> she won a panda? No, panda was the name of an old cat I had. She was nothing special, an old Miss Red. Who moved to Tokyo with me when I was starting up? I doubt I would have started this business if it wasn't for him, but he was also really old and having some health problems. The coach said she would take care of him, give him the best medical care, and feed him the best food. Panda's last day would be in complete comfort. In exchange, she would give me the Berlinist kit for free. I thought it was the right thing to do. <clears throat> but Panda was family. What kind of person am I? I gave him away. I miss him so much. I tried to go back and give the kid back to Panda, but the three crimes outside her shop were gone and never saw her or Panda again. That's all I remember. Sorry. Remembering Panda always makes me sad. Thanks for the help. I should get back to work. We'll have solved this. <clears throat> we should be able to go down there now. We should have three crimes right here. Yep. I want to know what the hell is going on here. This doesn't seem right. Doesn't match the descriptions I got at all. <laughs> what was that? Who's there? Raina? Is that you? Huh? Who's there? Look around you. Interesting, isn't it? It said the coins can't grind a wish. What is it you wish for? I've never been one to believe in wishes. Are you him, the collector? Collector, Crow, what of many names given to me over the years. Ah, but we have no time to waste on such boring, trivial things as introductions. Don't you want to know who I am? Oh, I know who you are, Detective Ito. Or should I say, investigator, so hard to keep straight. I suppose it's irrelevant. What do you call yourself now? As you have arrived exactly what you need to be. Something is different. Yes, yes. What is it, I wonder? Ah, that's it. You're like me, after a fashion. You see things differently from those around you. The world is not so solid and unchanging as it is for them. Things bend, they break, and we're wrong. No, nothing has been the same since Kamakura. Yes, of course. The girl you murdered, Reina. Was that your fault? Something made me. Then you are a puppet, dancing at the end of your strings to a tune you cannot hear. No, that's not what I said. I'm no one's puppet. Are you so sure, detective? Do you really feel like everything you've done is under your control? When faced with the impossible, you're so certain that every choice you make is your own? I don't know. Sometimes I feel like they're made for me. Which is easier, I wonder. The knowledge that the cause of all your suffering and your joy is of your own doing or someone else? I don't have time for this. Ah, of course, of course. Our conversation has tilted towards the philosophical. But you're not here for a philosophy. You want something more tangible. I want information. Facts. No, it is my business to know what people decide. That is not what you seek. What is it you want, truly? Tanaka. I want to know what really happened. No, it's not only that. I want to know what is happening to me too. Nothing makes sense anymore. I'm tired of chasing after the clues that link to dead ends. Perhaps I can be of some help to you. But first, please indulge me. I have a few questions. I am curious, so curious. You are such a unique visitor after all. Yes, nothing like the others. 
Fine. What do you want to know? I find it interesting that someone like you would bring on the job. Huh, you mean in the hostess about two weeks ago, yo, what a bit. It seems so obvious as a mistake. Why did you make it? It felt good. Tanaka has been missing for days. I was exhausted and wound up. I didn't need a reason, I just wanted, that's all. On the night of your partner's disappearance, you found your way into the seal using a man. Why him? A witness saw him. A witness placed him in that seal. Why not go directly to the source? What is this? Some sort of psych test? I came here for answers. Enough with the games. It is no game, detective. I can give you what you see. This is my price. That's it. If you want information to use against me, since you have already got it, enough. Blackmail? How pedestrian? Simplistic. No, no, no. I've no interest in that. Then what do you want? Everything I collect brings me closer to an understanding, much like you. Only the parts I assemble is considerably larger, and the piece you provide is well worth the trouble. Shall we continue? Do I have a choice? You have already made it. You show such little patience, detective. Surprising considering the effort you took to get here. Coalition's threats. Are these the common tools of a detective? Show that you could have found me another way. They didn't take me seriously. I had no time for errands. I think I choose this one. People respond to my needing. They were treating me like a child. It wasn't a small favor I needed. This is my life we're talking about. I don't need someone's permission to move forward. No, perhaps not, but it does say a great deal about you. The girl, Raina, she's the one you've been chasing. Yes, let's talk about her. Why didn't you shoot her again in the sewer? She was holding your dear Tanaka at knife point. Why didn't you pull the trigger? I should have. I didn't, but I should have. Maybe I could have put an end to all of this before it even started. No, yes, if only this tapestry were well, so simple. Interesting, most interesting. Though she's gone, the sleepless nights continue, don't they? You've taken your pills twice. Is that enough to make a difference? Do they help? Does it not make you question the fertility of it all? Most interesting, perhaps you have told me enough. Yes, yes, this is most useful. I accept this trade. In return, you won. What was it? Ah, yes, that's right. A pad, a way forward. I suppose it's your turn to ask questions now. What are you? A dressmaker, a cat breeder, a blackmailer. Seems that no one in this town can agree on anything about you except your name. There's no way anyone could know what you do. It's impossible, so what are you? Take a look around you. Is it not familiar? Can you not smell it? The stench of corruption. I've been here for so long, longer than you can imagine. Feeling the desires, the loves, the hatred of mankind flow through this place. For you, detective, I am exactly who you need me to be. Now, shall we return our attention to the matter at hand? I should have though, was not for the knowledge of how I fit into your story. It was for a way to clear the, how did you put it? Ah, uh, yes, to clear the dead ends you run up against. Let us reconsider your problem. The mass. I don't know why, but I get the hunch that you will know what this is. What is it? Reina was obsessed with it. It must be important, but I can't figure it out. I see. A most interesting rather. It makes people do the most fascinating things. Why did Reina want it so bad? It is a tool. Instead of living in fear of it, why not use it? It may be the key that will help you find your precious Tanaka. Though as powerful as it is, one cannot expect to use it knowing nothing about it. You said it yourself. It all started in Kamakura. The Kawanas have quite a history with that mass. The Kawanas Mai? The shrine maiden girl? Her grandmother was the one who gave it to me. The very same. It gives me the creeps. Maybe I should have gotten rid of it. Don't do that. You'll never find your way without it. Where is Tanaka? Is he alive? In the dark. Whether he lives? Mm, that's more difficult. In the dark? That's not the first time I have heard. What is it? Where can I find it? A better question is, where can it not be found? Can you not feel it around you, following you at every turn? It pays great mind to those within its walls. You know of whom I speak. 
a common thread that binds all the misery in your heart right now. And if that's where she is, Tanaka must be there too. The girl's thread is a complicated one, yes, very tangled. It begins in Kabukicho and a talent agency called Omega. Kabukicho? I know it well enough. As I imagine any officers of the law would, the dark is a sacred place. It lives and breathes, change, shape, and goes where it pleases. And it is a girl whose suffering determines its shape. Without understanding its root, you will never find your way on. It could tear you apart, like it almost has already. The mass and the dark are inexorably linked. Pursuing one without the other is futile. Now you're an enemy of the dark. It will reject you without understanding it. And you'll be lost without the necessary tool. How will I know when a path has been opened? Ask your puppet master. My end of the bargain has been upheld. You seem awfully eager to help me. What's the catch? Something tells me I'm going to regret talking to you. Paranoia. An unnecessary feeling. As I said, people fascinate me, especially ones as unique as yourself. You are a detective. I've only given you the tools you need to finish the job from here. Now that is the interesting part. I look forward to seeing your progress. Consider your debt to me partially repaid. The rest I shall collect at another time. Tell me, my little puppet. If you can see your strings, does your dance not continue until we meet again? There's nothing you can do now. I don't think you can do anything here. Maybe I should go back home. The air in the collector basement was stagnant and heavy. If I had stayed any longer, I felt it may have suffocated me. For the time I was there, Akihabara faded away into a distant memory. I returned to the service. Put my hand up to shield my eyes from the sunlight and listen to the people on the street. That conversation seemed so pointless. Part of a world I no longer belong to. The busy sounds of the streets swept the cobwebs from my mind, forcing me to remember everything I told the collector and everything he impossibly knew. I told him so much, but I did have but did I have a choice? Maybe he was right and I was a puppet after all. At that moment it didn't matter. The dark and the mask both belonged to a world I was not a part of. Normal methods of investigation wouldn't link me to them. Calmest parts were narrow to two, and I had no choice but to march forward toward the links I had been given. As I left Akihabara behind, one thing bothered me. How did the collector know so much about me? Was I really so easy to read? I didn't have time to dwell on it. Kasuke and Rena were in the dark. That much had been overconfirmed, and now I had a means, however impossible, to find them. Two parts, the mass and the dark, both were necessary and I had to make a choice of which to follow first. Chase after a talent agency in Tokyo's red light district. I'm about to come across to visit my the girl I nearly got killed. Now that's still very appealing. My logic was I didn't understand how either would help. But as everything around me cracked and crumbled away, logic didn't matter anymore. I had to choose. Or maybe something will choose me. You can go to Kabukicho or Kamakura. Maybe I should visit the shrine. Yeah, fuck it. Let's choose. Let's pick that option. I came here to find out about the mask, but there's something I've got to do for six months ago. I sent one girl to the mall and very nearly killed another. Since then, I had thought of coming here to apologize to my Kawana countless times, but couldn't find myself to see her and be faced with my failure. I think of the fear and hurt in her eyes and I feel nothing but shame. For my own peace of mind, I need to tell the truth about that day and about how I lost control. Hopefully she can find it herself to forgive me 
enough to help me with my investigation of the mass. Wait, this for why the cherry blossoms blooming? It's like nothing has changed since that day. Alright guys, we'll come back next time.